This sure is getting a lot of attention here and across the country. We've learned that scientists think a volcano is erupting off the coast of Oregon and Washington. Yeah, it's about 300 miles from Astoria, but thousands of small earthquakes a day are coming with it. So we wanted to know what that means for you. Our Chris Woodard spoke to researchers today, and this could be a little scary and a little exciting too. Well, I think on the surface people might think scary, but I did find out there's no threat here to anyone that's living on the coast. But this discovery could be a pretty big deal for a lot of other reasons. It's a tremendous uh, research opportunity for us. 300 miles off the Oregon coast. I live here in Newport, so I'm, I'm on the front lines too. Three quarters of a mile underwater, the ocean floor is shaking. It's really gratifying and exciting. We've learned that for five months, hundreds of small earthquakes were recorded every day. Then last Friday, there were 8,000 earthquakes here at Axial Seamount, the spot where scientists believe an underwater volcano is erupting. So it's really exciting. It's really a, a revolutionary uh, advancement. Today, I talked to one of the researchers, Oregon State Professor Bill Chadwick over Skype. I wanted to know what this eruption, these thousands of earthquakes, mean for the Oregon coast. Most of them are tiny, you know, magnitude one and two. So even if you were standing on top of it, you probably wouldn't feel it, or maybe just barely. So I learned because those quakes are so small, the seafloor movement so minimal, there is no tsunami risk. And because it's not in the Cascade subduction zone, it does not mean that big catastrophic quake so many fear is near. Or no, no less. No more likely to have a big earthquake than we were, uh, you know, two weeks ago. But Chadwick and his partner were able to forecast or predict this eruption, and they hope it helps them to better predict eruptions on land where more people are affected. He says what they're learning here could help with things like replicating DNA in a lab, finding new antibiotics, or cancer curing drugs. And he says there may be big clues here that help us in the quest to find life on other planets. Everything we know about exploring for life in the universe is kind of based on these uh, hydrothermal vent, uh, what we know about hydrothermal vents here on Earth. And all the video in that story was from 2009, the last time this volcano erupted. They went out there, got underwater, got their instruments in place to measure it in the future, got that video. They hope to get a better idea of exactly what's happening this time in August when they go back out there again. Wow, that is so cool. So I'm going to Astoria this weekend. Would I be saying? able to feel anything? <laughs> no, Any you're earthquake? a really good swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, out and down. You have to swim. To be able I'll to stay away from that area then, Chris. <laughs> so and keep in mind, this month, 35 years since Mount St. Helens blew up. Oh, wow. Long